Hello and welcome to the Who Merch Review, this time featuring the Lego Doctor Who set. It is a wonderful set made by uh, Lego Ideas. It came out just before Christmas, I think it was about the 1st of December, maybe a bit early or a bit later, I can't actually remember that well. Um, it is set number 11, I do believe, of the collection, so let's have a look at its packaging. We start off by looking at the wonderful front cover featuring the yellow and blue uh, pattern that we've seen on most modern Who merchandise from Series 8 onwards with the blue TARDIS in the top corner. We have a lovely action shot of the set in action. On the sides we get a look at the Lego logo, the old Doctor Who logo and the Lego TARDIS and that is the same on the other side as well. On the back we get a look at what minifigures we get, we also get a look at how the blue TARDIS connects to the interior and we have another action shot as well. Down the left hand side we have the Lego logo again but we also have how these sets come into being from idea to votes to product creation. So in this set we get one booklet with instructions inside and seven packets of Lego. None are numbered, you just get them all out at once and build. Um, I still separate the pieces out as you will soon see. And the seventh packet is inside the biggest packet. So let's have a bit of a time lapse. Sit back, relax and enjoy.
And here is the finished item. Isn't it nice? It took me almost all evening, which is why the time lapse took so long. Um, but it's definitely worth it. You can see all the minifigures and the created minifigures along with the actual console and the TARDIS itself. Now, as to playability, you can obviously make the TARDIS take off like so. And you can make it rematerialize elsewhere by putting it down. Then to open it up to add it to the console, you simply take the roof off, you lift up the panels that say police public call box on the sides, and then you should be able to open up the back to reveal the interior, which I've put Capaldi in for now. Attach it to the console through one red peg, and hey presto, there is your console room. From then on, it's up to your imagination what you do with it. I personally enjoy throwing Daleks down the stairs, as you will now see. Isn't he happy? Yes, imagination is the key with LEGO, so basically, playability, do what you like with it. Six characters are included, three of which have swappable heads, as you can see, it's reversible heads actually. And lastly, the booklet has not only instructions in, as you will see shortly, but it has info on Doctor Who itself, as you can see. It also has a list of the minifigures and their key roles in the show. And have a look at the TARDIS as well, it explains what the TARDIS is, but shows you it in Lego form. Then here's the many, many pages of instructions. As I said, it is a book which I really like because it makes it more collectible than in just instructions. Lastly, we get a look at the creators of this set from idea to actual designers. After that, we have a quick look at LEGO Dimensions. Other than that, there's nothing else in that book. So, overall, what do I think of this set? Well, it's about blooming time that they released it. Uh, Mixing two of my favourite things, Lego and Doctor Who, was possibly one of the greatest ideas ever. Now, I am a little upset that the fact that this set is the 11th Doctor's TARDIS, not the 12th, and that the 12th Doctor is in his regeneration outfit. However, this is something I can overlook because it is such a great set. That's all for this time, if you enjoyed this video please like and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, goodbye.